Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, given given the ideal op amp circuit and as shown in the figure, this input sine wave signal is applied to this op amp circuit. So here, given asked to find the output waveform of the given circuit. So let us find that. So if you observe the circuit, then it is nothing but the Smith trigger. Because here, there is a positive feedback from the output to the input side. Moreover, if you observe this circuit, then for the given op amp, the positive and the negative saturation voltages are different. So here, this plus V set is plus 6 volt, while the minus V set is equal to minus 3 volt. And this sine wave is applied as an input to the given Smith trigger. So for this input, let us find out how the output will look like. So here initially, let's assume that the output of this op amp is equal to plus 6 volt. So here, since the op amp is the ideal op amp, so no current is flowing into the op amp terminals, right? That means here, no current is flowing in this side. And therefore, the voltage at this node can be found using the voltage divider rule. So here, in this condition, this V plus will be equal to 1 kilo ohm divided by 1 kilo ohm plus 2 kilo ohm times 6 volt. So basically, that is the voltage across this 1 kilo ohm resistor. And here, that will be equal to 2 volt. That means here, when the output of the op is equal to plus 6 volt or the plus V set at that time, this V plus is equal to plus 2 volt. So in this condition, when the input signal is less than plus 2 volt at that time, the output of this op amp will be equal to plus 6 volt. Or we can say that whenever this V in is less than plus 2 volt at that time, this V out will be equal to plus V set. Because at that time, this V plus is more than V minus. So if you see this input signal, then up to this T2 point, the input signal is less than 2 volt. So up to that point, the output of this op amp will be equal to plus 6 volt. And after that, when this V in is more than V plus or this plus 2 volt at that time, the output of this op amp will become minus V set. Or we can say that it will become minus 3 volt. So let us see up to what time it will remain minus 3 volt. So now if you see, when this V in is more than plus 2 volt at that time, this V out is equal to minus V set. Or we can say that that is equal to minus 3 volt. So at that time, let us find out what will be the value of the V plus. So once again, if we apply the voltage divider rule, then the value of this V plus will be equal to 1 kilo ohm divided by 1 kilo ohm plus 2 kilo ohm times minus 3 volt or that is equal to minus 1 volt. That means whenever this input signal is more than plus 2 volt at that time, this V out will become minus 3 volt and this V plus will become minus 1 volt. And at that time, this V out is equal to minus 3 volt. So now, until this input signal goes below the minus 1 volt up to that point, this V minus will remain more than the V plus. And up to that point, this V out will remain minus 3 volt. So if you see this input signal, then up to this T4 point, this input signal is more than the minus 1 volt. So we can say that up to this T4 point, the output will remain minus 3 volt. And once the input signal goes below this minus 1 volt, then once again, this V minus will become less than the V plus. And once again, this output voltage will become plus 6 volt. And in this condition, once again, if you see the V plus, then once again, it will become plus 2 volt. That means now, unless the input voltage goes above this plus 2 volt up to that point, this output of the op amp will remain plus 6 volt. So here, this point is equal to T6. 
and beyond that also it will remain plus 6 volt so to be precise if i say then up to the t6 plus t2 point this input signal v in is less than the plus 2 volt and up to that point the output of the op amp will remain plus 6 volt and once again the same sequence will repeat so for the one time period if we see the output signal then this is how it will look like and based on the output waveforms that has been given to us this d is the correct option